is a lane order for you. Kokarev, Russia in lane number four. Watch out for him. So the S1 to S10, as we've said previously, for those with a physical disability, this is the S2s. How would they be affected, Giles? Uh, well, it's going to be impairments affecting all four limbs, certainly affecting muscle coordination, and that in swimming terms means inability to be able to correctly time the strokes as you would expect an able-bodied swimmer to be able to do, but you're going to be surprised, I think, for people who haven't seen this before, you're going to be surprised at how well many of them managed to produce motion forward through the water. Swimmers are now kind of making their way out to the deck. In lane one, Shalavi from Israel. He is at the back of the blocks there, just in that shirt off at the back. Al Marchuk in lane number two from the Ukrainian team. To be a threat here for the gold medal in lane number three, Makro Dimitris from Greece. Nice to see the Ukrainians there. That's Paul Marachuk from Ukraine. Makro Dimitris in three, Dimitri Kokarev in lane number four. He will be the favorite, the European record holder. Jacek Czech. From Poland in five, Makarov from Russia in six, Panabratits from Ukraine in lane seven, and Alex Chetnik from Slovenia goes in lane number eight. Here's Kokarev, the European record holder. <whistles> Kokarev will be the favourite for this one, Giles, but. Macro Dimitri's been in good form recently. Well, there you can see the coach will hold the feet onto the touch pad. Not allowed to assist in any way, just has to release when he hears the gun. Seki holding onto the block himself. Different start styles, most using the coach to hold them to the wall. We won't have any push from the wall. It will just be a release and they'll start moving with their arms. Thank you for your yeah. Over Sitchnik going on their back. Sitchnik going on his front there just with the use of one arm, but some techniques, mostly the double arm backstroke. I think maybe all of them double arm backstroke with the exception of Macro Dimitris in lane number three. This is a technique that's kind of developed over the years, hasn't it, Joe? It certainly has. It really gives a chance for the uh, for swimmers to maintain good body position. Difficult if you're using one arm at a time because your body's going to roll and that's going to force, that's going to make your body want to sink if you haven't got a leg kick to go with it. But wow, look at this, Paul. Great swimming in lane number six here. Makarov, he's the, the youngster of the field, the 17-year-old Russian, and he is challenging the European record holder here, Kokarev in lane number four, and Makarov in lane number six. They're going to lead. In fact, it could be Palmarachuk as well in second position, splitting the two Russians. And wow, look at that. Makarov has set a world record pace on the split for a 50 freestyle, my goodness. Well, this is absolutely sensational, and he was so, so good around the turn. Obviously, no use of the legs to, at all, and not able to really kind of bunch up into a ball, which you'd see able-bodied swimmers do, to really spin around that wall. But this is absolutely superb. Look at his, the smoothness to the stroke. I mean, when you look at the swimmers further afield and how jerky they are, very much more up and down in the water, all of the power that he's got is being used to channel him forward through the water as he comes now into the final 15 meters. 
He looks like he is not tying up at all here. The youngster, it's Alexander Makarov. Is he going to become the European champion? As I say, he's not tying up. The others are coming back at him. And it is maybe, looks like it could be Paul Manachuk, but it is going to be Makarov coming back now. And he is in, in a new world record time of 202.14. Alexander Makarov from Russia will take the gold. Paul Manachuk from Ukraine in second position. And in third position, I think it was Kukarev from Russia. But what a swim for the young man, Alexander Makarov, just 17 years of age. He went off like a bullet and was able to hold it coming back. Absolutely superb, a new world record time. Alexander Makarov from Russia. Well, it was Yang Yang of China who set that world record at the London 2012 Paralympic Games. Kokorev held the European record since 2011 in Berlin, but this now world and European records united by the young man from Russia. Sitchnik coming in in the outside lane. And he finishes in 2.56 there, just about on his entry time. The Russians are happy there, gold and bronze medal position. And Makarov, well, we're looking at the splits there, and we think he's actually set a 50-metre record on the first 50 there, going through halfway inside the world record time for 50. Absolutely sensational. Well, there you go. He finishes both arms, finishes on the back of the hands. Really a class, class example of maximizing your technical efficiency and minimizing the effect of your impairment on your swimming. The result is confirmed. Alexander Makarov is the European champion in a new world record time of 202.14. Sergei Palmarachuk from Ukraine is the silver medalist with Dmitry Kokarev taking the bronze.